mix right now. Hatching, hatching, hatching. Hatching command is H. Hatching com hatching command is H. Now see here. Now I am going to design one. Just assume on road. Then again, just a simple brick. Now in this brick. Now this region is the window region. Now this is the window region. This is the brick region. This is the brick region. Again, you can consider same this door. Again, one more one in this format. Okay. Now I am going to apply the H for H. Now see here. Again, H and gradient are the combined operation. H and gradient are the come. Both are present in the single window, single dialog box, single. dialog box now how to assign the hash patterns first you can see the type predefined user defined okay just i am going to say predefined then again see the pattern type pattern type type of pattern now we have different types of patterns in the format of textual representation again you can click the side box just you can click in the side box again everything in the format of icon format This is the icon format. This is the textual format. Just I am going to select this one. First one is the ANSI, American National Standard Institutions, International Standard Organization. Okay. Now this is nothing but purely representation of the cross sections. Purely representation of the ANSI thirty one. ANSI thirty one. Okay. Now I am going to select this one first. Okay. Now. Creation is okay. Selection is over. Then again, you can specify the color, color of hatch, hatch lines colors. Now I am going to set default color. White is the default color. Again, you can change the color. Just you can select the type of color here. Now use current. Then again, you can specify the angle of hatching and scale of the hatching. Now I am going to change scale to hundred. Scale to hundred. Now after completion of your input, your input values, you can select the hatching boundaries. You can select the Hatching boundaries. Again, you can select hatching boundaries by two methods. You can select hatching boundaries by two mm -hmm. methods. One is the pick point. Next one is the object. select object. Pick point and object. select object. Select the pick point. Now I am going to select in this region. Enter. Just OK. What's it? Again, this is nothing but hatching creation. Now the distance between the hatch lines is nothing but scale value. Okay, now see here. Again, I am going to apply the hatching. What is the scale value currently? One. Okay. Pick point. I am going to select in this region. Okay. What happened here? My previous scale value is ten. Now this time my scale is one. That means very very small. And then again, H enter. Select the pick point. In this location, now I am going to set type is the one that even okay scale value changes to ten and angle. Again, next time I am going to select the object selection. Again, we have two types of selections. One is the pick point selection. Another one is the object. Object means you can select the boundary. Object means you can select the boundary. Pick point means you can select the inner region. Inner region. Just see here. Okay. Okay. Then next again hit enter. Now this time I am going to create hatching for this region. Just time I am going to hatching for this region. Now I am going to select the object of. Just see what happened. Okay, first you can see what happened. Just time I am going to select the object. Now I am going to select this one. Enter. Okay. What happened? Total. 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 Why means? That is the selection of a object. Next again hit enter. Pick point. I am going to select in this location. Enter. Then next, same thing. Pick point in this one. Okay. Then for same thing, this one also. Now I am going to assign the brick material. Just you can open the other refine and brick uh, brick. 
okay pick pointer select object anything for this object okay then again next one for 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 this design purpose you can must not should use the pick point our representation only this is the now this region is the solid region this is the hello hello okay just h enter select pick point or select object which one pick point now i am going to select object what happened just i am going to select what happened total total, total region now our requirement is pick point in this region same brick material or any material i can have different types of materials okay now i am going to represent it grass gravel material grass material okay just okay okay now again what happened here scale value is scale value is very high just you can simply double click now what is the scale value 10 very high changes to 1 okay increase any just to me a simple double click just edit just go chale no again scale value how much 10 changes to 5 change in okay then next one double click changes to 2 This is nothing but properties dialog box. Properties dialog box. Okay, that is about the hacking. Just write down. H enter. H enter. Select your type. Select your type of pattern. Select your type of pattern. Select your type of pattern. Next. Color of the pattern. Next point. Specify the angle and scale value. 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 Okay. Then you can select the boundaries by two methods. Then you can select boundaries by two method. Then you can select the boundaries by two method. Then you can select the boundaries by two method. Then you can select the boundaries by two method. First one is the pick point. Next one is the select object. First one is the pick point. Next one is the select object. Pick point for You can select the inside region. Select object means you can select the boundary. Keep in mind. Okay. Then next, select object. Select object. Enter. Okay. Enter. Okay. That is about the hatching. That is about hatching. Okay. Then next one. Now same thing. Next one is the gradient. Same example, same operation. Now hatching is a lines format representation. Gradient is a fill format. Fill format representation of the crossing. Now see here. Again we have separate tool gradient. We have separate gradient tool. Or otherwise you can open the hatching. Hatching and gradient both are the both present in the same dialog box. Just again, I am going. Just I am going to select the now gradient is add to condition. Or otherwise, no, just wait. Gradient again both hatch and gradient. Okay. Now see here. Now the command for gradient is gd. Command for gradient is gd. Command for gradient is gd. Okay. Now see here. This is the field representation of the Solid region. This is the field representation of the okay. solid regions. Again, you can assign the colors. Color is your interest. Just I am going to use one color or two colors. One color or two colors. For that purpose, one color means two color is a deactivate disable condition. Again, you can change the colors. Just you can change the type of color here. Just you can click in this region, side box. Okay. You can select the type of color. Then next. All are the different types of intensity of the color regions. All are the different types of intensity of the color regions. Just okay. 
same thing boundaries pick point and select object again at a time i am going to select the two regions just okay okay then again same thing gd now again select object this time i am going to use the two color again you can change the color also just to change us to green color all are the different types of intensities just i am going to select this one now i am going to use the pick point just okay okay na? then again same thing select object and that's it okay just a draw gd enter next one is the region this is the very very important okay just i don't region so boundary one here okay first i don't the region region just i'm going to design one rectangle okay just i'm going to design one yeah. rectangle now what happened just i'm going to select this one what happened the entire rectangle act as a single entity single entity then i design same thing by using line command i'm going to using line command okay just assume rectangle okay now this time what happened now the entire rectangle design act as a multiple entity multiple entities how to convert multiple entities to single entity how to convert multiple entities to single entity okay for that purpose i am going to use the region operation region okay. operation command is r e g command is r e g r e g r e g enter just said r e g enter select objects to be region select objects to be region enter now see what happened this time after the completion of the region operation the entire entity act as a single entity okay r e g enter r e g enter select objects to be region select objects to be region enter that's it okay then next one write down just write down the note by using region command while designing plans this is the important one this one and export by using region we can convert by using region we can convert multiple entities of a design into sorry sorry sir ah oh, okay right by using this command we can convert multiple entities of a design into single entity 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 okay then next one explode command is x explode explode command is x explode command is x explode command is x now what is the use of the explode now see here what happened this entire design act as a single entity again i am going to select this one the entire design act as a single entity okay single entities now how to convert single entity to multiple entity how to convert single entity to multiple entity for that purpose you can use explode operator okay just write down the statement by using explode command by using by using explode command by using explode command we can convert single entity of a design into we can convert single entity of a design into single entity of a design into multiple entities single entity of a design into multiple entities single entity of a design into multiple entities okay now see here now explode command present in the modify toolbar modify explode okay explode command present in the modify toolbar okay now see here directly i am going to enter command x enter 
select object center what happened this one single entity convert into multiple entity now see here this entire design act as a single entity just apply the x enter select object to be explode enter now single entity just like sorry multiple entity x enter select objects to be explode 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 enter that's it okay so i'm plan chain up chaala important okay plan chain design is chaala important that is about the explode command then next one is the boundary just add on the boundary command is bo boundary boundary command is bo boundary command is bo now by using boundary you can create the duplicate objects you can create the duplicate objects okay now see here first i am going to design one rectangle again i am going to design one circle again one more circle and uh, one more circle okay now again my next design next design required same type of design my next design required same type of design okay now for that purpose i am going to apply the boundary select the boundary select the pick point now i am going to select the pick point in this location what happened no the entire design will be selected now see here now this boundary again this one so all will be selected enter okay boundary creation is over duplicate preparation is over then again you can transfer duplicate from one place to another place just you can paste just you can copy no copy just you can move from duplicate object from original location to application location for that purpose i am going to apply the command as a move command okay i am going to apply the command as a move m enter m for move now i am going to move this object this one and this one and this one total entire design just enter again you can select this object what happened now this is the original object this is the duplicate object okay again you can apply copy also here you can apply copy but just wait i will explain what is the use of the boundary layer okay now this is the simple creation of the boundary now next my requirement is again move my requirement is only these two my requirement is only these two select this one select this one enter select the base moving point specify the new location simple okay again you can create same thing by using copy also just wait i will explain what is the use of the boundary okay just wait bo enter select objects to be boundary just wait just bo enter now see here just we can apply bo enter then you can select the pick point option in the dialog box bo enter select pick point option select pick point option in the dialog box select the pick point box option in the dialog box select pick point option in the dialog box okay then i am going to select the inside region inside pick point enter that's it just right select the inside point select the inside region point select inside point inside point of the object select inside point of the object enter that is about the boundary creation again the boundary command followed by the move command the boundary command followed by the move command just right after completion of the boundary command 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 you can apply the move command you can apply move command command is m you can apply the move command underline the move command is m command is command is m. now see here m enter just you can see the process m enter select objects to be 
मूव एंटर स्पेसिफाई द बेस मूविंग पॉइंट स्पेसिफाई द न्यू लोकेशन ऑफ द मूविंग पॉइंट ओके रजिस्टर एम एंटर एम एंटर सेलेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट्स टू बी मूव 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 एंटर स्पेसिफाई द बेस मूविंग पॉइंट स्पेसिफाई करना सेलेक्ट करना था सेलेक्ट द बेस मूविंग पॉइंट स्पेसिफाई प्लेस पे स्पेसिफाई प्लेस पे सेलेक्ट द बेस मूविंग पॉइंट बेस पॉइंट ऑफ द मूविंग सेलेक्ट द सेलेक्ट द बेस पॉइंट सेलेक्ट द बेस पॉइंट स्पेसिफाई द न्यू लोकेशन स्पेसिफाई द न्यू लोकेशन स्पेसिफाई द न्यू लोकेशन दैट्स इट स्पेसिफाई द न्यू लोकेशन ओके दैट इज अबाउट द बाउंड्री ओके ना देन नेक्स्ट वन इज द वाईपोर्ट 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 नेक्स्ट वन इज द वाईपोर्ट कमांड इज द टोटल थिंग वाईपोर्ट ओके नो यू कैन सी व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ द वाईपोर्ट नो आई एम गोइंग टू डिजाइन वन रेक्टेंगल अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू डिजाइन वन सर्किट नाउ दिस इज आवर डिजाइन दिस इज आवर design okay now again my design content next step. next to my design now in the same design one more location i have in this format of design okay just i need in this format of design and one more thing is and one more thing is again again hide the this geometry for extra creation purpose or anything suppose in this area is very very clumsy clumsy this area is very clumsy clumsy with design At that time, I am going to hide the designs, and we can also create duplicate objects. Now, see here. Whiteboard. First time, I am going to create whiteboard here. Okay. We can create whiteboard by two methods. Directly selection point method. Next one is the polyline method. Now, see here. Now, I am going to select. Now, this is my whiteboard region. Just enter. What happened? What condition? The background whiteboard. What is the use of the whiteboard? Whiteboard disable the background design. Okay, disable the background design. Then again, I am going to apply the boundary command. Now I am going to apply the boundary command. Then again, select the pick point. Now this time I am going to select this one. Enter. Again, you can apply the move command. This object again select this object. Okay, simple. Again next, just directly select the wireframe, apply the delete. Okay, then again I am going to design one more rectangle. Now this time my requirement is this time I am going to create the whiteboard. Directly I am going to design the whiteboard here. Now I am going to create whiteboard in this location in this format. Okay. Now my next requirement, my design requirement is in this shape. This is my requirement. In shape. Now next requirement of the design is this shape. Okay. Simply you can apply the boundary, boundary. Point. pick point, select this inside region, enter. Then boundary command followed by move, move command, object to be move, base point. Again you can design. enable condition of the design okay just after completion of design just you can delete this one okay so copy creation lo jitna nikla ga copy lo raha copy means create same object by using boundary can create, create the duplicate objects okay before going to create of boundary you can create by port region by port region just like that by port by port enter By port enter. By port enter. Then you design yes, sir. Then you design. Ah, design yes, sir. Okay. So you can design yes, sir. Na. 
So what is the use? Just write down. Already designs exist in your table. Wipeout enter. We can design wipeout by two methods. 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 First one is the directed designing. First one is the directed designing. In brackets, default method. Directed designing is the default method. Then next one is the polyline method. Next one is the polyline method. Next one is the polyline. First take heading direct designing. Why port enter? Why port enter? Select the first point of the why port. Again, similarly, next point, second point, third point, and so on, as per the requirement. Okay. Next step. Select the first point of the Y port. Select the first point of the Y port. Select the first point of the Y port. Next, select the second point of the Y port. And the third point, fourth point, as per the requirement. Second, third, fourth, and so on, as per the requirement. Second, third, fourth, and so on, as per the requirement. Okay, now that is about the why body. Okay, now then next one polyline command. Now, see here, just simply I am going to design one rectangle in this location. This entire design act as a single entity. Single entity. Simply I am going to apply the y port. You can see the internal commands. What are the internal commands? Frames and frames and polyline. Just I am going to select the polyline. Just you can select this one. Not selection. Again, polyline. One more time. Just wait. Now this is the first design. Now this entire one act as a rectangular design. Now apply the Y port. Select the polyline internal command. The default method is the designing method. Now I am going to select the polyline. Now I am going to select this polyline again erase the polyline currently no condition okay enter what happened here the entire polyline design convert to y port now this is the rectangle this entire rectangle design converted to y port region okay we have two internal commands frames and we have two internal commands frames and polyline Frames and polyline by using polyline. Frames and polyline by using polyline internal command. 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 You can convert polyline design into whiteboard design. You can convert. Polyline design into whiteboard design. Polyline design into whiteboard design. Okay, that is the second method. Nothing but second method. Polyline is the second method. Make two methods here. First one is the direct designing. Next one is the polyline. So while you can design polyline method, first you can select the internal command as a polyline. Then next one, frame. By using frame internal command. By using frame channel command, we can disable or enable the whiteboard frame. By using frame channel command, by using frame channel command, we can disable or enable the. By using frame channel command, by using frame channel command, we can disable or enable the. By using frame channel command, we can disable or enable the. By using frame channel command. You can disable or enable the. You can disable or enable the. Whiteboard frames. Whiteboard frames. Now see here. Currently under what condition? Currently under 
ऑफ ऑफ कंडीशन वाई पोर्ट एंटर फ्रेम्स सेट टू ऑन ऑन कंडीशन अगेन फ्रेम्स सेट टू ऑफ कंडीशन फ्रेम्स ऑन कंडीशन अगेन फ्रेम्स ऑफ कंडीशन दैट्स इट दैट इज अबाउट द वाई पोर्ट फ्रेम ओके दैट्स इट दैट इज अबाउट द वाई पोर्ट देन नेक्स्ट वन इज द रिविजन क्लाउड रिविजन क्लाउड रिविजन क्लाउड कमांड इज आर ए वी क्लाउड कमांड इज आर ए वी क्लाउड आर ए वी क्लाउड आर ई इफ आर एलिफेंट आर ई वी क्लाउड आर ई वी क्लाउड टोटल आर ई वी क्लाउड टोटल आर ई वी क्लाउड आर ई वी क्लाउड आर ई वी सी ओ क्यू एल डी आर ई वी क्लाउड ओके now what is the use of the revision cloud what is the use of the revision cloud now first i am going to prepare the entire design after completion of the design my superintendent checks my design if there is any modifications if there is any modifications or if there is any mistakes if there is any mistakes just my superintendent represent just represent the modify region or mistake region by using revision cloud by using revision cloud okay now by using revision cloud we can represent modify modify regions and modify regions and mistakes regions mistakes regions so see here now i am going to design one rectangle okay i am going to design one rectangle then again i am going to prepare the diagonals i am going to prepare the first diagonal again i am going to prepare the second diagonal now i am going to prepare this is the exact diagonal but instead of that i am going to select this point this is the mistake region and again you can modify in this region again you can modify in this region now my design is over just i am going to send for approval send send for approval at the time of approval the sovereign find out the mistakes and also he explain the he explain any type of modifications by using revision cloud now see here just r e v cloud r e v cloud enter again you have different types of internal commands what is the internal commands r clamp object style r clamp object and style okay now see here first i am going to directly select the specify the points around the just to design revision cloud points around the modified region just this is the first point just i am going to represent in this format okay just i am going to represent in this format now what are the shapes what are the shapes of the revision cloud all are the simple simple types arcs all are the simple simple types arcs okay now see here what are the sizes of the arcs what are the sizes of the arcs different different sizes of the arcs again you can change the arc size and everything by using internal commands by using okay. internal commands Now see here. Now again, I am going to design one thing here. Just, just now I am going to design one thing. Okay. Now same thing. R E V. Revision cloud. Okay. First you can specify the arc length. What is the current arc length? What is the current properties of the revision cloud? Maximum arc length equal to point five. Sorry, minimum arc length equal to point five. Maximum arc length equal to Point five style is the normal style. Style is the normal style. First, I am going to use the arc length. By using arc length, you can specify the revision cloud arc regions. Revision cloud arc regions. Nothing but sizes. Now my minimum equal to ten. Minimum equal to ten. Enter. Now I am going to specify maximum equal to forty. Just I am going to enter forty. Now forty is the wrong one. See what happened here. Okay. Now I am going to enter forty. What happened? Again, you can see here. Maximum arc length cannot exceed three times of the minimum arc length. Maximum arc length cannot exceed three times of the minimum arc length. So maximum length must and should be less than or equal to three times of the minimum arc length. Now this time I am going to specify thirty. Thirty is possible. Thirty is possible. Now arc length setting is over. Arc length setting is over. 
then we can see the direct method nothing but designing method first point second point okay just i am going to represent in this format that's it okay now i am going to modify in this region by directly seeing revision cloud by directly seeing revision cloud by directly seeing revision cloud we can modify in this region okay then next one and again you can see the internal commands and everything our revision cloud again you can see first one is the style option hmm. first you can see the style option again you have two types of styles you have two types of styles one is the normal next one is the calligraphy normal and calligraphy normal means the current one is the normal style current one is the again you can design revision cloud with some width values width 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 some thicker revision cloth for that purpose select internal command as a style as a calligraphy now first point next one now see here what happened okay some thickness some width revision cloth this is the normal style simple line format this is the line with some width format again you can see after creation of the revision cloth again you have reverse direction specify the reverse direction now see here now currently all arcs are the inside bending inside okay. then again i am going to set reverse direction is the s condition what happened this time all arcs turning into outside okay inside and outside condition now see here one more one just the units so any need ga set chestunte neat ga vachu size ga now see here now this time is okay now this is the calligraphy style just to, the default one is the reverse direction is the no condition again you can apply enter same direction again i am going to select same thing now this time i am going to apply the reverse direction is the s condition opposite direction okay then again r e v c now style changes to normal this is the what type of style simple normal simple line style line with revision cloud with some width no width okay then again we have one more internal command r e v c cloud sorry now now i'm going to change the style to calligraphy first i'm going to design one polyline design first i'm going to design one polyline directly i'm going to design polyline around the mistake or modified region okay now i'm going to convert this polyline into revision cloud i'm going to convert this polyline into revision cloud for that purpose enter the command as a revision cloud select object internal command select object internal command just you can select the polyline what happened this time the existing polyline design convert into revision cloud that is the use of the revision cloud with object option okay just try down up to this one text next one is the text again you have two types of text single line text and multi line text just write down single line text and multi line text multi line text and single line text so multi line text command is t single line text command is dt single line text and multi line text multi line text command is the t and the single line text command is the dt single line text is the dt multi line text is the t okay first you can see the single line text just what is the use of the text option just you can design text in the design area now i am going to specify text is the first i am going to create the dt text dt is nothing but single line text single line text now first you can specify the first you can specify the start point of the text first you can specify the start point of this text just i am going to select the start point then you can specify the height of the text what is the default height 2.5 now i am going to change as to 5 enter then again you can specify the rotational angle of the text rotation angle of the text now i am going to specify rotation equal to 0 then you can design the text then you can design the 
Right. Again enter. Again you can design the next one. Next one. Again the same pattern. Enter and escape. Last one is the enter and escape. Okay. Then again you can see one more time. DT. Now I am going to specify the start point. Now this time I am going to specify text height equal to 2.5. Decrease it. Again angle equal to 45 degrees. Now you can see the variation of the text here. You can change the variation of the text. Escape. Okay. Na? Now this is the text with 0 degrees direction. This is the 45 degrees direction. Again, DT. Justify is nothing but different types of alignments. Same MS Office settings. Left alignment, middle alignment, okay. Same thing. Now, my requirement is set to center. Now, specify the center point. Then, text height 45 degrees. Now, this time, what happened? Center expanding. Center. Next, again, enter. Center expanding. That is about the justification. Style means again the style present in the format. I will explain in here. Okay, text style. Just see how to change the multi-line styles. First, you can create the multi-line styles. Mm -hmm. Then you can specify the select the style. Then you can enter the style name. Same thing here also. Okay. Then again you can see the multi-line text. Multi-line means paragraph format. First, you can choose your T for. Okay, just right. Just a T. First, I am going to select my region. Then I am going to write the text. Again, you can see here what happened. Again, this one also similar to this one also similar to same single line text. Same single line text. What is the use of the multi line text here? Multi line text. Now see here. We have now I am going to place this one exactly center location. Just you can select the setting. Sorry, not center. Okay. Now, for single line text purpose, this is not possible. This is not possible. Next, my requirement is again different, different height values. Different, different height values. I am going to change this one for 5. Now, these are the height. These are the height 2.5. This is the height 2.5. This is the 5. Again, this entire height equal to this entire letter height equal to the entire text height equal to fixed one 2.5. Again, this one having multi text means multiple editing operations. Multiple editing. editing operations. Now, see here different height, different location. Everything will be possible here. Again, I am going to assign the colors also. Now, I am going to select this one. Now, I am going to change the color for this one. Okay, different, different colors and different, different types of properties. Different types of properties. Okay, that is the multi line text. Just like that. First, single line text. Single line text. DD enter, DD enter, DD enter, select the start point of the text, select the start point of the text, specify the height of the text, specify the height of the text, next, specify the rotation angle of the text, Specify the rotation angle of the text. Specify the rotation angle of the text. Enter. This one also enter. Specify the this one first. Second one. Specify the height of the text. Enter. Specify the rotation angle of the text. Enter. So if point is your command bar lo numerical values enter jaise enter must enter jaise enter jaiye. Okay, value specify chase the enter button press here. Okay. Specify the rotation angle of the text, enter. Name. Design the text. Write the text. Then next. Write the text. Then design or write the text. In drawing area. Design text or write the text in designing area.
ओके इज एन आर राइट द टेक्स्ट इन द डिजाइनिंग एरिया एंटर एस्के एंटर प्रेस చేసి एस्के अगेन एंटर प्रेस చేస్తే మళ్ళీ మీరు మల్టిపుల్ లైన్స్ డిజైన్ చేయ ओके एंटर అని చెప్పి మళ్ళీ డిజైన్ చేసే టెక్స్ట్ మల్టిపుల్ లైన్ अगेन एंटर అంటే మల్టిపుల్ లైన్ అదే एस्के ప్రెస్ చేస్తే అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ది కంట్రోల్ ओके दैट इज अबाउट द मल्टीपल लाइन टेक्स्ट मल्टीपल लाइन टेक्स्ट व्हाट इज द कमांड फॉर मल्टीपल लाइन टेक्स्ट टी एंटर टी एंटर सेलेक्ट द मल्टीपल टेक्स्ट रीजन सेलेक्ट द मल्टीपल टेक्स्ट रीजन मल्टीपल टेक्स्ट रीजन सेलेक्ट द मल्टीपल टेक्स्ट रीजन ओके देन डिजाइन द टेक्स्ट डिजाइन द टेक्स्ट with respect to different lines design the text in the format of paragraph 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 then now see here then next point then we can change each and every letter property you can change each and every letter properties in the multi line text that is possible in the multi line text okay adhe total line select chesthe line property change cheyachu adhe meer oka letter select chesthe letter change cheyachu okay then you can change the each and every letter property in the multi text in the paragraph only simply in the multi text in the multi text that is the difference here okay that is about the text command okay now draw tool over is draw tool bar is over again this modeling related to 3d this modeling related to 3d okay now tomorrow i will explain the dimension tomorrow i will complete the entire dimension 2 okay that's it.